Now, Eastern Cape Cooperative Governance MEC Olile Ngata wants the Port Elizabeth High Court to declare Ngaba Banga's election as Nelson Mandela Bay Mayor unlawful and invalid. In further, it further wants the Democratic Alliance heavyweight to be slapped with punitive costs should the court rule against him. In his court papers, Ngata urges the court to hear the matter on an urgent basis. Well, the Port Elizabeth High Court has uh, suspended the invalidity of the election of the mayor of Nelson Mandela Bay and has given the council seven days to sit, uh, saying that until such time where a mayor is elected, uh, then the mayor's position or election will be valid. Well, this comes after the cooperative governance MEC appeared in the Port Elizabeth High Court, uh, calling for the suspension and the review of the election of the executive mayor of Nelson Mandela Bay, saying that uh, proper procedures were not followed by the time he was elected and saying that uh, you know there were certain protocols that were supposed to be followed before he was elected well this if you may recall comes after the election of uh, the Nelson Mandela executive mayor uh, Ngaba Banga in a very uh, dramatic manner following the abduction or what appeared to be an abduction or the forced removal of the speaker uh, this election happened under the leadership or uh, during uh, Malon Daniels as he was in the seat and chairing this meeting uh, after quite a, a chaotic day uh, in the council. But we are going to speak to the mayoral spokesperson right now to give us an idea of how exactly they feel as a DA, uh, especially, in fact, as the DA uh, regarding this decision by the court. A very good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, just let's just get first a sense of you know where where the DA is and how you feel about the decision by the court. Look, yes, the decision and the, the settled agreement which we've all come to um, to make this morning was in terms of a pragmatic approach. You may have heard the counsel in court say so, and I think the judge appreciated the fact that we're not tying up the courts on frivolous litigation, which the MEC's officer has instigated. We believe that this is all regarding a technical argument. It would have been a very technical argument as to which provisions the MEC does not feel was... was um, was given a year to or a year to within the council and we believe that our argument would have stood legal muster. We, we certainly would have been able to defeat this case. However, it was pragmatic as we said and we wanted to avoid sitting in lengthy legal negotiations in court and spending th hundreds of thousands of rand of legal costs that will be paid by the, the officers or the, the um, pockets of the taxpayers and the ratepayers of Nelson Mandela Bay and that's simply unacceptable. So what we've done is we've come to an agreement where we will settle and we remain in government while we do so. While a new mayor is elected, we shall remain in government and this coalition of good government can continue to provide the services it has since the 4th of December to the residents of this metro. Let's talk about the manner in which the, the executive mayor was elected. I know that you've been quite confident, you know, by the fact that the proper procedures were followed mm. uh, and that it was done so legally. Mm. Can you just tell us if your confidence still stays uh, or still stands the same even after this ruling? Yes, no, certainly. Look, I've been asked this question and unfortunately this is the, the, um, the nature of negotiations and settlements where you have to make certain concessions and and certain things need to be uh, not not necessarily admitted but certain things need to be put in front of the court in order that you reach a settlement and you meet each other halfway mm. i still believe that the uh, as i've said that we would have passed legal muster on the election of firstly um, martin daniels as speaker um, councillor bonga had nominated him i personally had seconded him while the acting city manager was in the chair so i don't believe there's any issue with regards to his appointment and then further to that the actual election of the executive mayor. So we remain confident regarding that. However, as I've said, the nature of a settlement is where you uh, then make some certain concessions with regards to technical issues which you don't, don't have to argue. Mm. And talking about now Councillor Mullen Daniels, we understand that he actually came out to say that he was beginning to doubt the manner on which the proceedings you know, happened. Uh, how do you feel about that? Aren't you a little shaken by the fact that now the acting presiding speaker is coming forth to say that uh, not everything was done accordingly? Uh, and no, not at all. Um, look, it's unfortunate that Councillor Daniels has done what he has and that he ha may have his reasons for it and I don't want to necessarily speculate on why he may have done so. However, Cons Councillor Daniels has in the past shown himself to align himself to what's better for Councillor Daniels and not the, the residents of the city and we can only assume this is the case in this instance. And where to from here? That's my last question. Well, at this stage we now wait for the uh, notice of the meeting to be called. It must be done within 48 hours which is by close of business Thursday and the meeting must be held by next week Thursday the 28th. And 
in, in the interim, we remain in power. The status quo remains. The government remains. Ngaba Banga remains in his office and we will continue delivering services to the residents of this metro. Thank you so much. Well, that was the mayoral spokesperson of the Nelson Mandela Bay Metro saying that he is quite confident that uh, everything was followed accordingly or the proper procedures were followed by the time Executive Mayor Ngaba Banga was elected and saying that they are waiting patiently now to follow the, the law and, of course, waiting for uh, the notice that will be served or should be served uh, within 48 hours and then after the seven days and saying that they will remain in power and remain serving the people of Nelson Mandela Bay in the interim. But for now, from myself, Andangonji, and colleague Dubani Blum, it's back to you in studio.